Welcome back to Keys for Kiddos, right here on the island of Harmony Key. I'm your host, Lovey Dovey, and on today's show, we're going to talk about fear. We have Jester Josh, who's going to read us the scripture from the Bible about fear. Hi kids, our verse today is 2 Timothy 1.7. God didn't give us a spirit that makes us weak and fearful. He gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. It helps us control ourselves. We'll be right back after these words to talk more about fear. Beer. <laughs> You're watching Keys for Kiddos, a Keys Media production. be. Be what you want to be. Whether it's Elvis, Marilyn, Freddy, or Frankenstein, it's all possible at Danny's Tricks and Kicks, your Halloween superstore. With everything from makeup to wigs, accessories and hats, you may purchase or rent that perfect image of the character you want to be this Halloween. Danny's Halloween Superstore is conveniently located at 3400 FM 2920, just two miles west of I-45, exit 70A. There's plenty of free parking and loads of fun for everyone. Shop early and enjoy one of the largest and most versatile selections in costume rentals and sales in the Southwest. Drop by for the ultimate Halloween experience. Our haunting Halloween hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 6, and for your convenience, Sunday, 1 to 5. You are so to me. Oh, hi. I'm Pastor Pat of the Overflow Church, and this is my wife, Marilyn. Have you not been to church in a while? Maybe because of all of the stuffy rules? Well, we are redefining what church is all about. Check us out. You'll be glad you did. We're waiting on you. All right, boys and girls, let's exercise. Everybody get up on your feet. Come on. Now make sure there's nothing around you that can break. And remember, a little exercise a day is just like an apple to keep the doctor away. All right, first let's stretch up, put your hands up, up, up in the air and stretch. All right, go down, let's try to touch our knees. All right, let's try to touch our toes. Come back up, good job. Now let's twist to one side, twist and hold it, hold it. Just as far as you can. Now let's go back to the other side. Twist. Hold it. Good job. Now, let's hold our knees up one at a time. Oh, you got it? Keep your balance. Okay, now try the other one. Can you stand up? Good job. Now that we're all warmed up, let's get on with the show. Hey kids, I have a scripture to share with you today. It comes from 2 Timothy 1.7, and it says, God's Spirit does not make cowards out of us. The Spirit gives us power, love, and self-control. I wrote a song about it, and you can sing along. Power, love, and self-control. Power, love, and self-control. Come on, you sing it. Sing along. 
along. God's Spirit does not make cowards out of us. The Spirit gives us power, love, and self-control. Our favorite part, power, love, and self-control. Wow, you did a great job. And remember, God's Spirit does not make cowards out of us. He gives us strength. See you later. Hi, boys and girls. We're back here on Harmony Key, and we walk down the street to our very own Chef Tomata's kitchen. Hi, Chef Tomata. Hi, Debbie. Tell us what good nutritional snack you're going to teach us today. Well, actually, today we're going to make something really fun. Does anybody like strawberries? Yeah! How about blueberries or raspberries? They're yummy. Well, now I'm going to need some helpers today. Does anyone want to be my helper? Could we be your helper? Well, absolutely, Daisy. How about you and Dominic both come up here and help me out today? Now, the first thing we're going to add is some plain Greek yogurt, which is one of my favorites because it gives your immune system a nice boost. What is your immune system? Well, your immune system is actually something that protects you. Immune means to protect, so immune system protects you from getting sick. Now, let's go ahead and add some of this into here. Daisy, I'm going to need you to pour this in here for me. Make sure we get it all in there. And now the next thing that we're going to add is some berries. Are uh, berries a superfood? Actually, berries are. They're one of my favorite superfoods because they have antioxidants in them. Antioxidants kick in with your immune system to help protect you from getting sick also. And we're going to pour all of those berries in there. Now, we're going to add something that I really like because it gives you extra nutrition in your smoothie, and it's spinach. Ew, spinach in a smoothie? It's all right, I promise you won't even taste it. And now, we're going to add some bananas. And we banana, have a banana, banana. And some apples. Apple fritter. Only I think that we're going to add our apples without the worm. <laughs> okay, so let's add a little bit of this apples and bananas and some strawberries which I know everybody likes their strawberries. We're going to add some vanilla almond milk. Mm -hmm. Pour a little bit in there. Okay. And then yep, Daisy, I need you to pour that all in there so that we can get it all mixed up. All right. And then let's put the lid on cuz we don't want to make a mess. <laughs> all right, press this button right here and we're going to blend it all up. Looking good. All right, looks like our smoothies are all done. All right, let's get these served up for everybody. I don't even taste the spinach. I say strawberry. So boys and girls, if you want a nutritious smoothie, join us right here at Chef Tomata's Kitchen on the Isle of Harmony Key. It was a cool and soothing October day And the trees were shedding their summer spray Down in the pumpkin patch, orange and green Lay the smallest pumpkin you'd ever seen Each day passed and more of these fruits were picked To serve their masters as delicious pies But the tiny little pumpkin was kicked back Cause no one thought he was the right size Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Pumpkin, 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 roll on faster Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Cause one day you two will serve your master The days grew shorter and the melons were few The tiny pumpkin thought, what will I be eaten by the crows in the field I am being one by one the pumpkin
pumpkins were chosen Except the tiniest pumpkin of all Old man Winter's group will make him frozen If he survived the cross dinner this fall Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Pumpkin, 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 roll on faster Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Cause one day you two will serve your master In a nearby town was a small lad Who was frightened of the dark, was very sad Visions of ghosts, monsters and things unknown Scary in his mind a mystery zone Until one day the little boy's dad Had an idea to cheer up his son Now his dad thought my son will not be sad So to the pumpkin patch they quickly run Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Pumpkin, 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 roll on faster Pumpkin, 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 don't you be sad Cause one day you two will serve your master Just in the nick of time Before the birds started their feast Everyone heard these words He is mine and the little lad quickly embraced The tiny pumpkin home they ran with haste Dad washed up the tiny little pumpkin With a knife he cut a hole in the top Next he cleaned out the yucky stuff Within a glowing face he's now the best of the crop Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin is no more sad Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin moving faster Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin is no more sad Cause today he too will serve his master Cause today he too will serve his master Today we're talking about fear is there anything that you're afraid of, Dovey? Yes, Jester Josh, I'm very afraid of creepy crawly things. Oh, you mean like spiders and like little oh! centipedes? Yes, just like that. Uh, this one's just a balloon. Here, uh, and what about you? Are you afraid of anything? Actually, yes, I'm afraid of snakes. Like this? Oh, but, it's, ju it's just but a I'm, not, I'm not afraid of toys. This one's okay. Well, there are healthy fears. What is it? Some, what's something that it's okay to be afraid of? Well, we should be afraid of strangers. A stranger is someone we don't know. So it's okay to be afraid of things that are dangerous. Yes. But I shouldn't let that fear control me because I know that God's in control. That's right. Just like it says 2 Timothy 1.7. Be who you want to be. Be what you want to be. Whether it's Elvis, Marilyn, Freddie, or Frankenstein, it's all possible at Danny's Tricks and Kicks, your Halloween superstore. With everything from makeup to wigs, accessories and hats, you may purchase or rent that perfect image of the character you want to be this Halloween. Danny's Halloween Superstore is conveniently located at 3400 FM 2920, just two miles west of I-45, exit 70A. There's plenty of free parking and loads of fun for everyone. Shop early and enjoy one of the largest and most versatile selections in costume rentals and sales in the Southwest. Drop by for the ultimate Halloween experience. Our haunting Halloween hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 6, and for your convenience, Sunday, 1 to 5. You are so beautiful to me. Oh, hi. I'm Pastor Pat of the Overflow Church, and this is my wife, Marilyn. Have you not been to church in a while? Maybe because of all of the stuffy rules? Well, we are redefining what church is all about. Check us out. You'll be glad you did. We're waiting on you. Now, Shekels, Miss Natalie's gone out of town and has left you here with me to doggy sit. But if you're going to stay in my house, let's go over a few rules. One, do not chew my shoes. <laughs> Two, no drinking out of the toilet. Three, do not potty in the house. 
and four, do not, I mean do not go down to Chef Tomata's kitchen and eat her food. Do you understand? And Shekels, despite all the rules, I still love you. Hello, boys and girls. Do you have a birthday this month? Well, we would like to invite you to be a part of our show. If you'll call us at 281-288-9664 and leave your name, your age, and your telephone number, and we'll invite you to be a part of Keys for Kiddos right here on the island of Harmony Keys. Now, the birthday song. And Tico, the church house mouse, is my husband. You haven't met him yet. I'm going to be reading you stories from Tika's storybook. Living in a church gives us the chance to see, hear, and read many stories about children and the challenges they face every day. Today's story about one such kid was written by our very own Professor Kidsbury right here on the island of Harmony Key. When Harold Berger was born, his mother gasped with joy. Not only was he handsome, but 15 pounds of boy. By the age of two, Harold looked like he was four and had to waddle sideways to get through his front door. You see, poor Harold ate everything in sight. His favorite thing to do was eat till morning turned to night. So by the time he started school, he wasn't even able to sit with the others in his class. He needed his own table. Harold's schoolmates stared at lunch when he'd eat chicken. We're talking six whole roasted birds. Yep, they were finger licking. Soon no one could pass Harold. He was wide from left to right. And when he took the school bus home, his three seats fit tight. The kids would always laugh and point. They'd even call him names. When it was time for recess, he watched while they played games. His parents were quite worried and stopped giving him all sweets. But late at night while they slept, he would sneak lots of treats. Then, several sad years later, he saw a contest advertised. A thousand dollars to the winner who could eat the most pies? I can do that, thought Harold. Mom and Dad would be so proud, not to mention all my classmates cheering from the crowd. From all around the town, people brought pies to donate. There was every flavor imaginable served on a paper plate. The contestants all lined up. Soon they would all begin. As soon as the bell sounded, they were told they could dig in. They couldn't use their hands, which were put behind their back. Only their mouths could aid them as they mounted their attack. The bell rang. People chanted, Harold, you can do it! For the first time, he felt so good. He could win this. He just knew it. Like a human vacuum cleaner, he wolfed down all his pies until a voice over the speaker said, I think we have a tie! But there can be only one winner, so let's see who'll get full. The last person to stop eating wins. That's always been the rule. Harold won the thousand dollars, but in a way, he won much more. For on that day, he vowed to lose weight as he lay sick on the floor. Harold started to eat healthy, to exercise, and run! From overweight to football star, his new life had begun. Halloween is a fun time of the year when we get to dress up and eat a lot of candy. There are also a few safety tips you need to remember. Trick or treat at your local mall or in your own neighborhood. Consider going with your children when they trick or treat. If that's not possible, plan ahead and make sure they go with friends or older siblings. Be sure your children and teenagers carry a flashlight, a glow stick, or a reflective candy bag. That makes them clearly visible to others, especially if they're trick-or-treating at night. Secure emergency identification, name, address, and phone number discreetly in their Halloween costumes. 
remind kids not to enter a strange house or car and be sure they don't accept rides from people in the neighborhood unless they've cleared it with you first. If your kids are older, be sure that you map out a safe route with them so you know where they are at all times. Remind your kids, and especially your teens, not to take shortcuts through alleys, backyards, or playing fields. Never go out trick-or-treating alone. Whether you're a second grader or a seventh grader, there's always safety in numbers. One last thing, check all treats at home in a place where there's lots of light and be sure your kids know not to eat their treats until they get home. Giving your kids a good substantial dinner before they leave can help make the candy less tempting while they're out trick-or-treating. Be safe, have a good time, and I hope you bring home lots of goodies. Hey kids, it's me, Diva Tika, the church house mouse. And sometimes, late at night in the church, I get very scared of things. But then, I remember today's Bible verse. It comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, God didn't give us a spirit that makes us weak and fearful. He gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. It helps us control ourselves. Sometimes, when I think about how teeny tiny I am, a little bitty mouse, and there are giant owls and elephants that I know could eat me if they wanted to, I get very scared. And I'm sure there are things that make you very scared sometimes, too. But then I remember, God is always going to be there to help me, and he'll always be there to help each of you. lovey-dovey again out on Harmony Bay. It's another beautiful day here, so I'm back on the fishing boat. And don't forget to say hello to the parrot, Petey. And also joining us today is our good friend, Jester Josh. Hi, Jester Josh. Hi, Dovey. Hi, kids. So glad to be back with you again today. Well, today, because we have the Halloween holiday season coming up, and everyone gets to go out and get their candy and dress in fun costumes, I'm going to make a fun little happy skeleton. Oh, fun, fun. So this one's really fun. It's not too, too hard, but this is a little harder than some of the ones I've taught before. But it takes two balloons for this one. And so I'm going to start with one. We're going to make a little bubble for the foot. And then we're going to do a pin strip, which is what we did for the monkey here. Okay. If you remember the monkey, we have like that. We're going to fold it over, and we're going to pin strip it. And that's pretty much all we're going to do. We're just going to do that same thing like 20 times. Okay. So same thing again. And we're going to do another little bubble. We bend it over, we pinch it, and twist it. So if you can see, there's his foot and his leg. And that's his knee. And then we do another one. And we do another bubble. We fold it over, we do a pinch twist. So that's one leg. So you have leg, oh, and there's his it. knee. You see it? We're going to do the same thing again. Another bubble, little bubble. We fold it over, we pinch it, and we twist it. We do the same thing again. Bubble, little bubble. We fold it over, we pinch it, and we twist it. And we do that one more time. Wow. We do another bubble. Do a little bubble, we fold it over, we pinch it, and we twist it. Okay? Now comes the part that's kind of tricky, but it's fun. We take the two pinch twists in the back, and we put them together. Yeah. With one hand, we're going to hold all of this. Okay. With the other hand, we're just going to take these two little ones, and we're going to twist those around one time like that, and that holds yeah. them together. Oh, how neat! And so we're going to take like this up. Fun. And we're just going to grab up here, and we're just going to twist it. It could be any really length, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do another loop twist, like if you remember for the sword. We're going to loop that over, and twist it. And that's going to be your skeleton head. And so we're going to make the two arms. So just like we did for the legs. You do a bubble, 
you have a smaller bubble, you fold it over, and you do a pinch twist. Okay. And you do a bubble, smaller bubble, you fold it, just like that, you fold it over, and you do a pinch twist. And then you do a bubble, smaller bubble, fold it over, and a pinch twist. Just the same thing over and over again. Okay. And you do another one, a bubble, smaller bubble, just like that. Fold it over, and you do a pinch twist. Now this, this is the only really kind of tricky part. You do what's called a thumb roll, and we're going to take this bubble right here, and we're going to roll it, and it's going to split it in half. So you take this oh. bubble, and we're going to roll it like that. Yes, it's that neat. Okay, and we're going to do this other one too. We're going to flip over to the other one, and we're going to roll it in half. Now the reason we roll it in half is that grabs the balloon and holds it tight, so yeah. we can actually break part of the balloon and not break the whole thing. So I'm just going to grab this, and then we can just like that, just go like that. I didn't know you And it didn't that. pop the whole thing, just pop that part I wanted to pop. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just pop a little part. Just like that. What? And so now we have wow. our little skeleton. Oh. And then we just need to draw a little face on our skeleton. Oh so just God. grab like a Sharpie marker. And then we're just going to draw some round little eyes. Isn't a skeleton. he amazing? That is so cool. And we're so going to draw cool. a little nose. And we're make him a happy skeleton. Oh, I like happy skeletons. So this is just a really easy, really quick little Yay. skeleton. Hey kids, it's Halloween time. And that means you'll see monsters, goblins, and ghosts. You may even see witches or play games like bobbing for apples, like me. But you don't have to be scared. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, God didn't give us a spirit that makes us weak and fearful. He gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. It helps us control ourselves. Basically, this means you don't have to be afraid because God is with you. Even the little wormies. Did you enjoy today's show? Way! Now don't forget to come back next week and join Petey the Parrot, the Blue Beacon, Jess for Josh, and Shekels the dog, and me, your hostess, Lovey Dovey, as we learn another great lesson from the Bible, right here on Keys for Kiddos.